All right, we're here at the lab ready to check out our first homebrew hack. And this is basically how to control your household lights over an internet-enabled cell phone. All right, so uh, how would we go about doing that? Well, we're going to need a couple things first. First, we're going to need a uh, light module, an X10 light module. You can pick these up at X10.com. They're really simple. They plug into the wall. You plug your lamp into them. Uh, we're also going to need what's called a firecracker. It's a... A uh, little COM port adapter plugs right into your service COM port. It's model CM17A. And this just acts as like a radio transceiver for our X10 modules. Yes, it takes the place as the normal remote that you would use with these X10 modules. But this way, when we plug it into our server, we can use uh, PHP and Apache and a little uh, DOS utility. And, and control it all through the computer instead of having to keep track of the remote. Exactly. Once we, and then with the uh, web server, once we get on the web, we can use it from not only our cell phone, but also any web browser. Okay, so we can do it from like somebody else's place, too. Exactly. So, let's go over here to our server. Uh, this server is running Windows Server 2003. You can download that at Microsoft.com. You can get an evaluation copy. I believe it lasts for uh, three months. Maybe it'll last longer. Or you could uh, use Linux or Mac, because we're using Apache and PHP. The only thing on here that's Windows dependent is the light utility. It's light.exe from communities.msn.com slash light homepage. And that, uh, that's a Windows-based system, but I'm sure you could find, find an alternative it. at SourceForge or yeah, for, for the other OSs. Right, and if you're familiar with Linux, then you should not have a hard time finding it and configuring it. Yeah. So we're here on our Windows 2003 server. We've got Apache 2.0 and PHP 5.0 installed and configured. We've got them set up on port uh, 82 instead of the regular port 80 because our ISP blocks port 80 incoming. I believe it's because they want you to upgrade to uh, the latest or upgrade their, their to business the uh, business class exactly. Yeah. So let's go ahead and check out the PHP code. This is really simple stuff. We've got uh, you know two links down here, and they basically say. Go to index.php, the file that we're on right now, with light equals on or light equals off. So once we've passed the light variable on or off to the PHP code, it says, well, is it set to this? And then if it's on, then run the system command and tell it to run light.exe with these parameters. And there's a That's C1, A1, A1 plus. plus. C1 being COM port 1, which is our firecracker. Mm -hmm. A being the house code and one being the number one module on the A house code. Exactly, and plus is to turn it on and minus is to turn it off. Okay. If you check out the light.exe, you run light space help, it'll give you a lot more uh, information. You can do, you can do like light fading and uh, other cool dimmer stuff, but for these purposes, we're just showing you how to turn one light on and off. Just copy this code uh, to several different things and change you know A1 to A2, and you yeah, can expand it, it, upon it's this. It's expandable up to however many modules you have. So. Exactly. And, um, you know, also, now that we've got this framework done, you know, we can add in other things later. Okay. Uh, we could add in, like, the macros. Like, with... if we had a webcam, uh -huh. then we could put the webcam on there so you could see your house when you're away. Another neat thing would be to, um, you know, a plug-in for Winamp or iTunes so that you could turn on and off the music. And then once you've got that all set up, you can write little macros. Yeah. All right, and you just have like you know your, your your date macro or your party macro or anything like that. Exactly. So you're coming home with your date, and you hit a button on your cell phone. You get the soft lighting and the smooth music. Exactly. Exactly. Very nice. So let's go ahead and check out this PHP code in action. I got Firefox down here, and we're looking at the site on our local host port 82. And if I go ahead and click off, sends a command. Lights turned off. Turn it back on. Okay. So now. To get this over the web, we're going to need to know our IP address. We're also going to need to port forward port 82 to our server and do that per the instructions in your router. We're using a Linksys WRT 54G. It's really simple. You hit yeah, the IP address, enter in your code, go to Applications Gaming, and set up port forwarding. Yeah, very friendly interface. So to find out your IP address, head over to ipchicken.com, grab your IP address. In this case, we've also made it a little easier by using a service from DynDNS.org. And the DynDNS service basically allows you to take a dynamic IP address and put a DNS record for it. So that whenever your IP address changes, the DNS uh, record updates with it. And it's a little application you run on your server. And it'll forward as your IP changes, DynDNS will forward it to... Exactly. So you punch this into your cell phone, if your IP address changes, you're not, you know, SOL. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, here we go, we've uh, logged in. 
over the internet with our DynDNS port 82 on index.php, and we can go ahead and turn off and on the lights. And then we would just plug that into our cell phone. address into our cell phone. Exactly. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how it runs on the cell phone. All right, let's do that. 